went to the registry where you find letters of six months from the, across the world lying down there, letters for, of the minister, letters of the pump. So I even found some of my own letters there. Yes, here in the headquarters. So that means there is a disconnect in terms of communication between the ministry and the embassy. And that is why even if you appropriate funds to the embassies, because we appropriate funds directly to the embassies, so they have their accounts there. But they must come down to Nigeria to get approval before they can spend those funds. So it takes, you find capital expenditure in the account for like three years, four years in some cases. And the reason you, they will give is, is for lack of approval. And uh, uh, the embassies are dilapidated. They don't have vehicles. But yet, they can't spend those money because of bureaucracy. So in its wisdom, the leadership of the uh, House of Representatives, uh, the National Assembly now included in the 2021 Appropriation and this Act, Clause 11, Section 11 of the Act, to say let's allow the embassies to spend their monies without having to come back to Nigeria or somebody for you to just uh, maybe build a fence of 50 meter, a collar fence in an ambassador's house, like 50 meters, some set of staff must go from Nigeria to London or to China to go and inspect that fence and come back to Nigeria to report. And you pay air tickets, you pay Esther code. For goodness sake, an ambassador is an appointee of Mr. President and ambassadors are people that are highly placed in society who have gone through, you have, re you have retired even CDS, Chief of Army Staff, you have re members of the Parliament, so retired Senators, Chief Justices of the uh, Appeal Court or Supreme Court, as ambassadors, very senior citizens. And in the case of career ambassadors, they are people at, 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 at the directorate level. So for goodness sake, Mr. President will appoint these people and they will come and be screened by the Senate why wouldn't they be allowed to spend funds that are appropriated to them and account for it? After all, the, the Auditor General goes out there every year to audit them. The National Assembly goes out to oversight their activities. How can uh, one person from Nigeria in the ministry be the one to give approvals to 110 emissions we are in the same ministry when we went for oversight in 2020, we, well, the, the, the ICT was not functional. When we entered the ICT room, there was no single computer. While we have been appropriating monies for ICT. So if, you, if there is no good communication, where an ambassador is applying uh, for approval to repair maybe a blown off roof by the rains, before you get approval, the house must have collapsed on it. So it is really terrible. And uh, now the National Assembly have put that clause, and Mr. President has assented to it. And this is it, and it is now a law. As far as it is a law, it is bound on every Nigerian, because nobody is above the law, to obey the law. If you are not comfortable with the law, then you can lobby for yeah. it. Eh, claro.